podczas trzeciego dnia Intellect Stream Masters Katowice w fazy grupowej e, zakończył się właśnie mecz pomiędzy Heroic a Vitality, w którym po szalonym spotkaniu Heroic pokonało numer jeden drużynę na tym turnieju ogólnie w całym rankingu i jest ze mną właśnie zwycięzca tego spotkania, Nerds. Hi Nerds, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Uh, it's nice to have you here. Um, before we talk about the match and what happened today and about the crazy stuff what, what just uh, ended, I wanted to ask you how do you feel about coming to the IM Katowice for the first time in your career? Uh, obviously, I have goosebumps when I hear it. Um, this is like the first priority for me right now to, to feel and see Spodek. And before we talk about what, what happened, I wanted to talk a bit about uh, the time in ENS. Uh, because like it was a huge a huge uh, change in your life I, at, at the end of the last year you've decided to leave uh, the ends uh, can you please tell me how did the departure time here look like um, I think we had really good times with dance with all the players it's a bit unfortunate that we couldn't stay together and that's why I just left and do you still like have any contact with the ends players I love everyone, from the staff and the players, everyone. I always say, guy, I feel like they are my second home in, in gaming, I would say. And last year was a very, very good year for you, uh, because you, you've had so good, uh, like the results were amazing, and also you were chosen like the 14th player of the year. Um, do you also consider this year as the best in your career so far? Not right now. I'm not even close to the level I was in, with, in CSGO, but I'm trying to grind and grind more in CS2 and I hope I will be even in the level and even more. So I wanted to ask you if there were so amazing results in the previous year and, um, and your time in ENS was amazing. Why did you decide to leave there? Um, I think... Like we had a lot of good results, I would say, with the guys in ends. Uh, we won IM Dallas. We uh, were like in four finals. One of them was IM Cologne, so I think it's really big. And uh, I left because in the end we didn't stick together as five players. Uh, I would say ends did everything to keep me. And talking more about the matches in IAM Katowice, yesterday, yesterday you played G2 and it was like that even game, uh, but uh, the odds shown that you were a huge underdogs. What did you make to like uh, make it so, such a competitive, co competitive game? I think the game against G2, we should, we should, we should won it in, a, in overpass. We just lost to ourselves, basically. Um, uh, second match, Anubis, uh, it was fine and Nuke they were just better, but I think we should do it like we should win 2-0. But of course, should, if, when, like you know, it can say it's forever. But I think like we are improving from game to game, so this is what's important for me in the end. And what were your expectations about today's matchup? Because you faced the Vitality, the number one team. I, ex I expected it will be a crazy game. I know every time I'm playing against Vitality, it's always overtime, some crazy happen. And we showed to ourselves that we can be one of the best teams in the world. Uh, you could have managed to close it up 2-0, but uh, in the end the Vitality won. And uh, what did you do to keep motivated and keep focused before the start of the decider? We, in the second match, we lost full echo that we should never happen. We talked about it. It's really hard to reset from this, but from from this moment specifically. But before the game, the third game, we talked about like how important it's to reset. That everyone is like, even if someone is like, was giving a bad call, we should not blame him. Like we were a team, and it's fine. Like seem like we came to the game fresh to the third game, and this is what was the, the important thing. That's that's why we won basically. Yeah, and the third game you've also had a huge advantage there, but they managed to come back and to make it to the overtime. Um, what were your thoughts throughout the game when you were losing such uh, such a crucial runs as uh, many rounds? I think I always believe uh, my team is to find solution, and in the end, even though it was late, I think they find solution and we closed it in the overtime. We saw it. Uh, Kick Sanet like said, guys, from now on I'm gonna talk. I have a good. Um, uh, counter for what they're doing, and as you see, like they were they were up 12-11. Damian started uh, kicks and started to call, and from there I think it was 16-12, or 16-13, something like that. 
I saw that you have you had no mercy for them and you were like bantering them for the whole game. Do you think that it's important thing to do to like maybe disorient them a, a bit? I I believe so. Like for some people, it's like it's make a lot of difference if like. I'm shouting at them, like people will start like to be scared and this kind of stuff and they will not play the A game. But I think they played really good yes, even though I was I was shouting on them. But I was shouting because it was personal for me to win this game and it was important. I don't think they're taking it personal. Like if you are in this level you're not taking it personal. Did you have like any additional um uh, feelings coming into the matchup against these pinks and flames? Uh I mean like I just wanted to win more than anything else. This is for me like uh, was special, and when I won it, like it feels amazing. But again, we just won match, one match. It doesn't mean anything. I want to be in Spodek, and I want to win the next two games. Yeah, as you already mentioned about the next game, you you will face somebody from Gamer Legion or Mouse uh, team. And uh, what do you think about both possible matchups? I think both of them are scary teams. Uh, they showed really good CS during the. <coughs> during the uh, last months, and yeah, we will prepare for for the next game, and I hope everything will be fine. And do you feel that you can make it to the spot deck? I already said it. People will say that I'm delusional, but I believe that we can make it 100%. Thank you for the interview, and good luck in your future match. Thank you very much.